Alright guys, in this video we're going to cover the vessels of the head and neck and the upper extremities, okay? So, we're going to first cover the arteries of the aortic arch. So you'll see the aortic arch kind of coming up right here, okay? And when the aorta branches, we'll bring in a heart model here real quick in front. So when the aorta is curving right here, the aortic arch, this rightmost um, vessel is going to be the brachiocephalic trunk, and it is the thickest. The middle one is the left common carotid artery. The leftmost one is the left subclavian artery. Okay, what do they look like on this model right here? So we have the brachiocephalic artery right here. And the brachiocephalic artery right here is going to branch into the right common carotid artery and then dive towards the shoulder right there as the, sorry about that, as the right subclavian artery. So right subclavian artery, right common carotid artery coming from the brachiocephalic artery. The left common carotid, left common carotid artery is doing its own thing right there. And then the left subclavian artery is also kind of doing its own thing right here. Left subclavian going underneath that cut clavicle right there. Okay guys, so this is arteries, specifically arteries and veins of the head and the neck. Okay, so first thing I want you to notice is when you're looking at this model, there is a superficial side where you can still see muscle and um, some connective tissue. And then there's a deeper side where there's some bone showing. Okay, so Coming off of those common carotid arteries that you just found, we have the external and internal carotid arteries. So right here you can see the um, external carotid artery right there lying in front and the internal carotid artery behind it or lying more posterior. So external carotid artery, internal carotid artery lying behind it. So the external carotid artery is going to branch into these three superficial arteries. You have the facial artery right there, that red vessel um, supplying blood to the face. The superficial temporal artery, which is this red vessel going up the temple, superficial temporal artery. Then the occipital artery, which is that red vessel supplying blood to the occipital region back there. Then you have the vertebral artery. Vertebral artery is going to run through the transverse foramen of your cervical vertebrae. So if you can see on that on your models, great. So for the veins, we have the internal and external jugular veins. So very important to know which side of the face you're looking at. So the superficial side, you can see the external jugular vein running over top of the SCM or sternocleidomastoid muscle. Then on that deeper side, you can see the internal jugular vein. And the internal jugular vein is touching the internal carotid artery. So, external carotid artery, internal carotid artery, internal jugular vein. So then the uh, external jugular vein is going to drain those three superficial veins that match up the arteries. So the facial vein is going to drain back down, that blue vessel right there, to the external jugular vein. Superficial temporal vein is going to drain back down to the external jugular vein. And the occipital vein in the back is also going to drain into the external jugular vein. Also, the vertebral veins are going to run through those transverse foramen and the cervical vertebrae as well. Um, I don't have any good models to show you right now, but just so you know, vertebral vein and vertebral artery are going to run through the transverse foramen of the cervical vertebrae. And our last term is the brachiocephalic vein. So right before those veins merge into the superior vena cava, you're going to see them come down and merge here. So you're looking here, and you can see the brachiocephalic veins which are merging into the superior vena cava right there. 